Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to um, run a Neo Geo emulator in um, RetroPie. So I'm just going to insert my um, USB uh, thumb drive into my Raspberry Pi 4, that is. So uh, you could use a USB drive uh, for Windows and um, Raspberry Pi if you uh, format it into uh, NTFS format you could uh, you could share it between operating systems so uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the BIOS file for the Neo Geo into the RetroPie folder you have to put it into the RetroPie ROMs folder in the Neo Geo folder so there are many different uh, types of ROM files you can get or the BIOS files you can get um, this one is 52.7 kilobytes that one didn't work for this uh, emulator this one is 260.0 kilobytes this one didn't work very well either it worked for my uh, Neo Geo X emulator Rage X but it doesn't work for this emulator and this one is 1.7 megabytes this one worked pretty good and that's what I put in and this one is 1.5 megabytes that BIOS file so I just put in this one you just put it into the ROM folder as you can see I already put it in there so I don't have to put it in there again so if you can find a better um, ROM for it then uh, you could simply go in here and delete it and put in a new one but you can't put both of them in here at one time so this is the one that I put in the 1.7 megabyte ROM I mean uh, BIOS folder this one right there so let's say I find a better one in the future I could just I, sh I just delete it like that and then I just put in a new one. Let's say that's a new one. Just like that. That's it. Uh, as for finding the BIOS for the Neo Geo, uh, you're going to have to look around for it. Um, I'm pretty sure you could find it if you Google it. But I can't uh, show you how to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to start uh, Emulation Station. Okay, now I'm going to start the Neo Geo emulator. I'm going to run some games. All of them don't work, unfortunately. And uh, before I run any emulator, I'm going to show you something that you have to do before. So you go to uh, here, you go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. And as for performance, um, before I had it at 128 megabytes and I had some problems because some uh, games uh, used they required more than 100, 128 megabytes they uh, were using about 200 megabytes you know video memory 
and if you don't have enough memory then you're not going to get a picture you know the screen is going to be blank unfortunately but you will hear the sound or the emulator is just going to crash so that those are the type of problems you're going to have so I changed the 256 megabytes that's just what I did okay, with that added away now let's run a ROM or a game this game shock troopers this one didn't work okay let's try this one this is another shock trooper ROM a different one hopefully this one works okay it's working it's not crashing to start you press the select button I mean to enter coins you press the select button and to start you press the start button and these are the controls that you will be using for the game Let's look at the frame rates for this game. Hmm, you can jump in this game interesting jumping in an isometric game never seen that before so the game is running at 60 frames per second which is pretty darn good I think So jumping is for getting inside that tank. I didn't want to throw a grenade at it. It's not very good. Okay, that's good enough. It runs pretty good. There was no uh, frame skipping or anything like that. This one didn't run.
can see it's running at 60 frames per second. It's running pretty good. No problems. Perfectly playable on a Raspberry Pi computer. Yeah, that's good enough. It runs good. Let's try this one. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that one runs. Let me change the control settings. So you press the special button and triangle to get to, to get to here. I'm just going to change the controls a little bit. I want retro pad with left analog. I want to use an analog stick. Just keep pressing X, go to here and press circle and that's it. See how it's running. Attack of the Crab People. They look like the invid from a uh, Robotech or something. <laughs> Attack of the Crab People. Whoops. No, I don't want to, I don't want to get hit by that thing. Alright, that's good enough. That's pretty good, 60 frames per second. A lot of sprites on the screen at one time. This thing could handle it.
Okay, that's enough. Okay, it runs pretty good. No problems there. Now I'm gonna exit out of here. So that's how you run a. Uh, that's how you run the Neo Geo ROMs on Retro um, Retro Pi on a Raspberry Four single board computer. So there's some confusion about um, where you should add the BIOS files for the Neo Geo. Um, some people tell you that you should be putting the BIOS files for RetroPie for the Neo Geo in, in the BIOS folder. Like right here, I just took it off. So I was testing both ways, so um, I first had it here, you know, I first put it in here initially, and I ran it, and it ran okay, it, it ran the games, and I read somewhere that you could put it into the ROMs folder, into the Neo Geo ROMs folder, which I did, and that too ran ran the ROMs as well so I don't think it really matters where you put it but, but most people are saying that you should put it into the ROMs folder and that's about it so, oh one more thing don't forget to eject the um, USB drive out so you just go here and eject it that's it now you could take the USB thumb drive out just like that and for my Raspberry Pi I bought, I added this thing, so this is a USB extension cable. Let me get a flashlight so I can show you better. It's uh, nighttime right now, so it's quite dark. Whoops. So this thing right here, the USB extension cable, I just connected it to a um, one of the ports on my Raspberry Pi, and uh, it's it it works pretty good. That's about it. I don't have to go. Um, I don't have to stick the USB drive thumb drive in the back of the Raspberry Pi every time. So the Raspberry Pi is right there. My Raspberry Pi Four is right there. So. I don't have to reach back here and stick the USB thumb drive in there every time, which is inconvenient. It's a lot easier to just stick it here, you know, which is right in front of the monitor. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. By Ace 1000KS1975 signing out.